Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is like a thousand degrees uh, here. Honestly, I am so hot right now. It's beyond, it's crazy. I'm literally roasting. So, whew, why am I about to put six tons of makeup on? I have no idea. But it is Pride Month and I wanna do a Pride tutorial. So, Let's get into it. So I'm actually gonna use this today. It's the Professional, and it is Matte Rescue. Hoping this can uh, control my oil a little bit. So what does it sound back? It says, Matte Rescue is your no filter filter. Mattifying, pore blurring, invisible finish. We'll see. It's just kind of like a gel. That I'm guessing you just apply all over. God, my face is wet. I can't have the fan on because obviously I'm filming, so it'd be very noisy. Okay. Ooh, it feels very fresh, like aqua fresh. Stings a tiny bit. Is that good? Probably not. Put that away. So foundation, what should we use today? You know, I do have this Air Flash by Dior that I really want to try. Uh, but I'm wearing white, so maybe this isn't a good idea. I'm wearing the dress from my try on video. I will link it if you want to watch it. The thing with this is I'm kind of, it looks completely the wrong color as well. Maybe we'll do a separate video trying out the air flash. Maybe that, that would be fun. Let's just go into something that I know is not gonna be too heavy. Uh, I'm gonna go in, I have this Too Faced Born This Way foundation lying around, so I'm gonna use this. This is in the shade Pearl. So that's probably way too many pumps. Do I have a Kabuki brush? Girl, I am not organized today, honey. So, okay. Just go in with this Chanel foundation brush. The foundation says it's like medium to full, but I always feel like it's really full coverage. Like really full coverage. I can definitely feel a bit of a pull, you know, from that primer. I can definitely feel a bit of a pull. You know what, yesterday I was watching a video, I'm not gonna mention names about who it was and what video it was. But I was watching a video and uh, it was basically talking about like makeup do's and don'ts. And it kind of made me feel really bad about the way I do my makeup because they were saying like, oh, you're doing it wrong and don't do not do this and don't do not do that. And it kind of made me feel a little bit, because it wasn't like constructive in a sense of, you know, you can do this, but this would look better. It was very much, this is wrong and it looks disgusting. And I was a little bit like, oh, it just made me feel a bit bad about the way I do my makeup. You know, it just, now, and I don't think that this video was meant to make people feel like that. I think sometimes people's opinions can come across as really offensive. And a bit too much. Because I feel like there's a constructive way. And in my opinion, that wasn't constructive. And I pumped way too much of this out. Like, way too much. So, what? And they said like putting foundation on your eyelids is wrong, putting it on your lips is wrong, and this and that, and... I don't know, I just feel like I, this is how I like to do my makeup, so... Whatever, and they were kind of, I felt like they were kind of shaming people. I just kind of feel like it's not, that's not nice to do that. Like everybody, obviously everybody has their own way of doing makeup, and... I get it that there are like simple guidelines to how you should wear it and things, but I honestly just felt like it was a little bit mean and a bit offensive, but whatever. Just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. And now I'm thinking, there's like two ways that I, I, I can do this. I'm thinking I can either do it in a way where I do my eyes as like the trans flag, or I can do it in a way that I could do rainbow lips and like neutral eyes. I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I don't feel like I need concealer though with this foundation, right? 
Maybe it's because there's so much on my face <laughs> that I don't feel like I need it, but I feel like this is totally full coverage and this is enough. Yeah. Totally full coverage. Set my face. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Just pat this underneath. And then I'm just gonna take a powder brush and I'm just gonna set my whole face with this just because, just because, just set it. See, I don't, they were saying that your eyelids crease when you put foundation on and then even if you set it, but I never get that. Maybe it's just me, but tell me in the comments below, do you guys get that? Do you suffer from creasing? I personally don't, so. Maybe I should just do it all. I should do rainbow lips and rainbow eyes. Like we should just be crazy. Got to do my eyebrows at some point as well. Okay. So I'm gonna go in for my eyes and I'm going in with the Rainbow Splash palette. I hope you guys have, you guys have seen this before. This is an amazing palette um, as well. This is a black owned com uh, beauty company as well. So that's obviously good. Uh, I have done a review on this palette. I will add it below so you can watch this, all the swatches of the palette and everything. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go into Utopia, which is this shade here. I'm also gonna go into Eclipse, which is this shade here. And I'm gonna have to go into a different palette for like an underbrow highlighty shade. So I'm probably gonna go into Manny M MUA Life's a Drag and go into uh, Beast and use Cake Face as well. So let's just see how we go because I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> So I'm going to take B and we're just going to apply this underneath my brow bone just because I like an underbrow highlight and that's just me personally. Same on this eye and then I'm going to try and split the eye up. Oh <gasps> my flag! Okay. Fail! I'm going to try and split the eye up into three different sections. Let me just fix my flag. I'm gonna try and split it up into like three sections of my eye. So I'm gonna try and do the, so you see the flag, the blue, the pink, and the white in, in the middle. And the white, I think I'm gonna add a bit of silver or something. So we'll start with the blue. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush here. Make sure there's nothing left on it. It's a bit stained, but that's fine. And I'm gonna go into Utopia. I'm just gonna start applying this on the outer edge, just here. Just like so. This is a great palette. It's so pigmented. And this blue is, oh my God, this blue is fabulous for this look. And then take it on the inner corner. Uh, I'm going to do each eye at the same time so that way we try and get them as symmetrical as we possibly can. And I'm going to have to take a clean brush and I'm just going to have to try and buff this bit here because it's gone a little bit too far inwards but I mean I guess this look is going to be dramatic so that's okay. Yes mama we're looking crazy! Take more of this blue. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna take this pink, which is called Eclipse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna take, I think maybe some white eyeliner or silver glitter. I'm not sure. I'm gonna figure out, but I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Just to build up the difference between the blue and the pink and I'm just gently buffing 
the edge of the blue. I hope you can see that. Not so much that we are, what is on this brush? Oh, there's a bristle there that's sticking in my eye. Not so much that we are destroying the separation lines, the disenfranchuation between the two, but enough so that it's blended so that it doesn't look strange. If you see that? We don't want a stripey look necessarily. We want it to be, well, we do, but we want it to be blended stripes. And you want to be careful as well, because you can see putting too much across the blue turns it purple. So bear that in mind as well. And I'm actually just going to go back in with the blue on this eye. And I'm just going to slightly redefine this edge. And I'm actually going to do that on the other eye as well. buff the top and again I'm going into that clean brush making sure there's nothing on it and I'm just gently softening across the top of where the eyeshadow is and that will just help to blend a bit and not have it be so hard. I know you're thinking it looks crazy but I think when we add it underneath as well it's gonna look better. And I've never done this before, like the rainbow eyes or the trans flag eyes. So I am really just kind of going with it as we do it. I've never done these eyes before. So I don't know how it's going to look. Uh, now let's think for the middle, oh no, the flag. For the middle bit, do I want to do, I'm trying to think what would be the best thing. Do I have, no, let's see. I don't have a white liquid lipstick either. Um, I have a white glitter, but I don't think that's going to be strong enough. I have a silver one. Or, I do have white concealer. This is by Revolution. It's the Conceal and Correct. I wonder if I could take a small brush with this concealer and paint a white line in the middle. Girl, I think I might have just messed this up. You just have to be super precise. Oh gosh. Girl, the more I'm adding to this, the more of a mess it's becoming. <laughs> mm. Let's see if I can save it. When you mess up, glitter will always save you. This is the Too Faced Peel Off Eyeliner. It's not the best, as I do find that after a couple of hours, it does tend to peel off. But with that said, I don't have anything else. So this is probably the best. thing that I have for now for this purpose. It's okay. What oh, is a fly? Ew. Okay, I've been faffing with that for a while now, so we just have to accept that this is how it's going to look. And then I'm going to sweep off this bake underneath my eyes and take the blue. Honestly, I don't think this look is everything, actually. I mean... <sighs> I am not overly crazy about this look now. Add a bit of glitter here. I guess it's not that bad, actually. When I had the rest of my face done, maybe it would look better. 
because right now. <laughs> so let's go in with some bronzer. Just go in with Too Faced Medium Chocolate Soleil. Just warm up the face. Just a little bit, blend this out a bit. And what I'm gonna do for cheeks as well is, I have these uh, flags. I have this, uh, where is it? Here it is. I have this. I bought this from Amazon. It's by Zach's Alter Ego. And it's essentially like a flag printer. So you see it prints that on the cheeks, like so. I will link this below so you can find it. And essentially just puts flags on your cheek, <laughs> which is kind of cute. Now let's do lips. So for lips, you are gonna need different lipsticks. Hey Google, what colour is the order of the rainbow? On the website metoffice.gov.uk, they say the colours of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. I'm just going to take these three colours. So I'm going to do the red, the orange, the purple and the pink. So all you want to do, it's really simple. You just draw different quadrants on your lips and that makes sense. So draw a line where you think you're going to do it. So just like that, and then just fill in that portion. So that's your first portion. And then you can do any colors that, that you want in the rainbow. I do only have these colors, so I'm just gonna go in with these. Next, you're gonna take your orange, and I would do this to the middle of my lips. So to about there. It's very important you want crisp lines. And then if you can see here, this bit's slightly bigger. That's fine, it's how I like to draw my lips on. So just go back to the color that you used before and just uh, like match it up. You probably will have to do some neatening up at the end, but that's fine. Next, going in with the purple. Sorry, I just covered the camera. Now we're gonna go in with the pink, and again, same thing. I would actually suggest starting in the middle. It's You need to make sure that you get your connections correct. And I'm just gonna take a little brush and just sharpen up the edges. And then there you have rainbow lips Ooh. now i'm gonna stick some lashes on and do my brows really quick and then i'll be back Ta -da! so i feel like lashes as always saved the day now obviously this is not an everyday look for everybody this is a pride look that you would wear to pride not like an everyday well i guess you can wear it on a, on an everyday if you like this then yeah the last thing I feel like I need to apply is highlight because we all know your girl likes highlights. So I'm going to go in with this pink one from Doll Beauty and I should have really done this first before my flags were applied but I'm just going to lightly dab a bit 
on top and I hope it doesn't take away the flag too much. Just a bit. So thank you so much for watching. This is the finished pride look. This is kind of, it's I guess it's, it's transgender and just the gay pride flag in general. It's like a combination of both. Uh, as you know, it is Pride Month this month. It's International Pride Month. So I please urge you to do some research, be kinder and understand that we are people as well. Either way, uh, I'm leaving some links and some information below for you. So please feel free to have a read of this as well. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you all in the next one. Stay safe and stay positive. Bye my love.